We're going to talk about the regulations, about why you have to have an IB. We're going to talk about the real dry mechanics of the IB sections and the required information, straight from, straight from um, ICH E6 and a little bit from uh, 21 CFR 312.23. We're going to talk about the length of the IB, writing tips, and this is writing tips per, you know, the, the world according to Meredith. But again, you know, I'm pretty effective, well, I think I'm pretty effective at doing my job, so that's why it's uh, how to write it best. We're talking about delving into the section requirements. This is when I'm going to go into the different sections, how to write them, and the effective examples I found that you can refer to, because not one IB that I presented is really good completely. The Roche one, I will say, is the best one, but even then I found there were some difficulties with it. All right, updates by phase of investigation, usually what kind of updates you have during what phases, how to document the changes, and then what to do when you have more than one indication. And I put the summary page right here because I'm basically trying to promote something that I think we need as an industry, that the label, the labeling requirement now is that you have a highlight section for all approved products. And I'm coming back to everyone saying, that's great, you have it for an approved products. And they have the labeling summary, the highlight section for the labeling for you know, approved products because physicians don't read the label. Well, physicians aren't reading the label on approved products. How are we going to get them to read the label on the, on the unapproved products? And as your IB is your label throughout all of your clinical trial process, you're, that's your label, you need to have a highlight section as well. I'm going to be stressing that a lot, too. Your handouts include the investigator brochure template, and I also include an IB checklist for managing the team writing the IB, which is basically it's how to go through and start writing it, and then sample investigator brochures. 